Hey everyone, it's Gone Turbo here. In this video, we're going to talk about things that, as gamers and players of Skyrim, we don't like, and that is performance issues and crashes and, and frame rate drops. If you've been watching a little bit of my channel, you know I have a particular load order, and folks have asked if I do get any crashes or, or frame rate drops. And I've been honest in saying that my performance with this load order is really, really good. Uh, I follow the Dropbox load order, which is in the description. And with that, it really helps mods perform as best they can based on the way that you uh, load them. There are a few areas that I do get some frame rate drops, but not too often. I think they're the areas that most people might anyway. Sometimes in the Rift and in Falkreath. I mean, those, those are wooded areas. And obviously Riften, um, but also sometimes around the area of Dragon Bridge and the port near Solitude. Again, not often, but sometimes a little bit of a stutter. I have noticed that populated lands and roads, and even the the sky birds or the the bird flocks that I have uh, when approaching or passing a bird, it will cause um, the game to stutter a little bit. Also recently I did a video on verdant grass and really like that mod. It's a beautiful mod to overhaul your entire grass the entire grass of across Skyrim. But I found when I downloaded it, I immediately had issues. I put it properly in load order in category two. I put it under Skyland. And the two things that happened were on the loading screen, there were these black wavy lines uh, as the smoke kind of rose on the loading screen and the character or the, the picture on the loading screen appeared. There were these black wavy lines, it's kind of different shades of gray and black. Uh, also, I was, I was getting crashes every five to ten minutes. I mean, literally, it was that frequent that my game was crashing. I could not fast travel. Um, I would save, it would crash, and just playing the game would crash. Now, my goal is the really great looking game, providing a smooth game, um, but Priority has been a great looking game. And, uh, however, if I can't play for five minutes because of crashes, um, I do play the game and I'm not going to, I'm not going to not play for, you know, five minutes at a time and get crashes. So at this point I decided to go back to Dense Grass, um, and I might play with Verdant in different parts of the load order, maybe a little bit higher in category two than a little bit lower. Um, but I actually had tested this twice. I also had someone comment on Verdant or comment that their game was crashing around the Dragon Bridge area. I suggested to remove Verdant and they didn't have a problem after that. So it can be a mod that can create some, some technical difficulty. So just be careful. So here we are playing on a console that typically, because of the way that consoles are built, I mean, obviously, developers and programmers are working in a fixed type of system versus a PC where there are so many options for what a PC is, the guts of it, the hardware of it, um, to run software can cause compatibility issues uh, and perhaps cause more issues and crashes than a console. But here we have a game where we are kind of crossing or inching a little bit towards what a PC is capable of with with these with these mods or being able to to download mods. Um, so we are finding that obviously we are going to be pushing the system if we are continuing to to layer and and add what our Xbox or PlayStation has to has to process. And if it can't handle it, it's gonna crash. So 
hopefully you will check out that load order. It's in the description. Uh, hopefully you check out some of my other videos and um, hang in there with uh, with what we have for being able to mod Xbox until maybe the Xbox Scorpio comes out at some point this year and maybe we won't have any more crashing frame rate or performance issues with Skyrim. Thanks for watching guys.